Hello and welcome to your Sango City events in the Sango City area for today, folks. Thank you all so much for coming to your Sango City events. Uh, today's a very special day once again in the Sango City, beautiful Mount Ice Stadium on April 10th, 2019 for today. Welcome to your Sango City annual gun show. This is actually not an annual fest, but this is brand new coming to the Sango City area for this 2019 year once again. Uh, here we are in the beautiful Mount High Stadium, and Mount High Stadium uh, did let us introduce this brand new event uh, that a lot of people have been waiting for who are uh, local uh, gun nerds in the Sango City area for today. And welcome to your Sango City gun show for today. Uh, today's gun show is uh, brought to you by Lego once again because Lego is all, all, always brought to you by in every Sango event for today. Today's event is also sponsored by local gun owners for today, so stay safe with local guns for today. Uh, today's event is uh, very high in security, just in case if anyone is uh, coming here just to not just look at the guns, but also steal them. So high security in the stadium for today for this gun show once again. And also uh, local Sango City events, um, local managers John Lees has uh, talked to local President Carter Chavez about this event coming to town and about the safety concerns that it can have on uh, the, the city itself. And uh, he has agreed to let this event come into the San Jose City area and uh, as long as there is high security at the stadium itself. So today's high security will include once when you enter into this event, uh, you will go through a same type of procedure that you would go through uh, going through TSA through the airport. Uh, so they will background check you a little bit too also so uh, they can see uh, your history and background just in case. It's a long process just to get into an event like this but the, it is for the safety of the people for the area uh, and also for the Lego Topia area so we, we don't want anything bad happening at least and we, want, we don't want any guns and dangerous types of weapons going out and spreading throughout the city area uh, just for safety concerns itself. So uh, just bear with us for today. That's what we're doing for the safety of this event. And uh, if we have any events like this in the future, we will be doing it. But welcome to your Sango City uh, gun show for today. Uh, this gun show does introduce all types of guns that local Sango City Police Department does use. We also have some futuristic type of guns uh, we don't just have guns itself, we also have bow and arrows, uh, other types of weapons too. We also have uh, local swords that are le like really expensive and legendary swords and stuff that you can't really find on the local marketplace. So uh, very awesome looking swords in the stadium with us for tonight. We also have shotguns, pistols, everything you can think of gun type and kind of weapon type for today. Uh, we don't have every single uh, type of weapon in the stadium itself, but we do uh, introduce mostly just guns because it is a gun show. Uh, but this is brand new. We have at least three tents. We have the local Sango City newsstand all the way in the back of the stadium in the center pretty much. Uh, that's just like an information stand about the event too, um, but it's also a newsstand for local news that is in the Sango City area just in case if you're interested. Also, we have other two other tents on the left and the right side. Uh, each of those tents are information tents also. Uh, they also, uh, go, you can go there to buy local weapons at this event if you wanna buy one from any of the tables uh, laying right there. So you can pay right there if you wanna uh, buy a gun uh, and they will go through a background check and so forth and so forth to get a gun itself and to make sure that you are safe and able to actually own a gun. And so today uh, we will be showing each gun itself too. Uh, so each gun itself, uh, we have some pretty cool guns actually in the stadium. Uh, we have uh, some also AK-47, some older types of guns coming all the way back to World War II in uh, the United States. And then we also have some bow and arrows for local hunters who are interested in those, uh, which those price ranges are pretty expensive for bow and arrows. We also have local hunting weapons uh, we also have collector type of weapons uh, joining with us for today, even though every weapon in the stadium itself is basically a collector type. Uh, but we do have some futuristic type of weapons coming from the Halo uh, game itself, uh, Halo Reach and all those types of uh, video games. And also we have some other futuristic types of uh, guns that are actually really, really cool looking. Uh, they do 
uh, use real bullets, but the bullets are basically like the same bullets that you would use in uh, another version of that gun that's more modern, uh, but these ones are more futuristic looking. So, uh, but those ones are pretty cool looking. We have those on the le on the right side of the stadium. We have the no more modern and type of like safety weapons and uh, hunting weapons and stuff on the left side of the stadium and all the way into the center we have shotguns pistols and so forth and some swords too and uh so yeah that, that's all mixed in we'll be joining with a local announcer here in a sec who will be announcing each gun here in the San Diego City Mount Ice Stadium but once again here is your San Diego City uh, gun show for today uh, let's introduce each gun inv individually kind of uh, in a sec here for today, folks, but please enjoy the rest of the music. Thank you, Legoans, for joining us at your local Sango City events. And hello, welcome to your Sango City gun show for today. Welcome to uh, the Sango City beautiful Mount Ice Stadium. We thank you local Mount Ice Stadium Sango event list uh, people for letting us join with you folks for today. And we're glad to introduce all types of guns to local Legoans in your city for today. Uh, but here we are introducing all the guns on the left side of the stadium for today. Uh, we're introducing like uh, types of police guns and stuff. Uh, first off, we have all types of AK-47s. All, all types of burst rifles and uh, really really cool guns let's just get a nice overview of each gun here uh, but yeah each gun here is awesome looking they're all basically black there is some color uh, in some of them but these are mostly like military type uh, police type and uh, just more uh, modern type of guns that you would see on a daily basis from uh, your local San Jose City uh, Police Department or uh, local police department itself. So we're introducing those guns itself too. Excuse me. And uh, we are also introducing all the way on the on that tan type of table right there. We're introducing some like bow and arrow type of stuff for local hunters in the area. So it looks like we do have some hunters who are interested into those. Uh, those are pretty expensive, a hefty price for some of those. Uh, some of those bows uh, can go up to uh, at least the 100 range and almost the 1,000 range. Uh, they're pretty expensive. We have the normal uh, combat uh, bow right there that does actually shoot like a gun almost, uh, but does of course shoot out a bow and arrow. And um, also we have a local, just an older type of like Indian style uh, normal bow and arrow. We have some modern types of ones and also older type of ones that uh, look like they were actually uh, belong to uh, Indian itself and then we also have some like hand type held weapons we also have uh, some different types of uh, uh, shooter weapons that shoot out like poison darts and stuff uh, we have some of those too and then moving on to like the futuristic side of the stadium uh, we have like halo reach and collector type of item stuff over here or guns i guess you could say and weapons uh, so we're introducing like uh, just like local halo reach weapons that are really hard to find but we're introducing those uh, for today and they're like really collector edition ones uh, but these do take the same bullets as like the more modern weapons that you do see over here uh, they do take the same type of bullets and they also uh, share the t same type of name of gun. They're just built differently and look a little bit different and more futuristic type. So uh, each one is kind of related to some of the guns over here. So if you're looking at those guns and looking at those ones, they're basically the same, uh, just different color and different style. Uh, so very cool looking guns here. We have all types of futuristic type of guns. Uh, some of these are really, really cool looking and very expensive and hefty price going up to 1,000s to almost 100,000s uh, for some of the Halo Reach type of guns. We also have a weapons table right here. We're introducing just some uh, swords and knives and other types of weapons that you would see on like a local farm or in like a Jap Jap Japanese type of uh, scene, I guess you could say. And then also we have a Halo Reach sword uh, with the blue sword coming from the Halo game itself. Uh, this is actually a really collector type of sword that you would see. Most of these swords are just collector type because who uses swords right now for combat unless you're into that type of stuff? 
uh, but we do have uh, that sword right there and we also have some other types of items we have a local lightsaber too uh, really really cool items some of these are actually pretty expensive some of them are really nice swords really good condition uh, very expensive to buy and then also we have some other uh, types of more uh, common type of weapons that you would see on a local police officer or, or just around town that someone would have. We have some guns that would go on a holster on the side of someone's hip um, that would carry it around. And we have some uh, like older types of pistols, excuse me. And then also we have some kind of futuristic type of um, like collector type of uh, pistols itself too that do actually shoot some uh, pretty colorful types of uh, bullets itself and then also we have uh, some types of shotguns older shotguns older world war ii weapons uh, here too at today's gun show and then also we have some other types of uh, futuristic types of golden legendary guns here uh, joining with us for today uh, we do not have really any video game guns i mean the only video game guns is we that we have are like halo reach but we don't have any recent video game guns uh, including like uh, like fortnite type of guns or apex legends types of guns but uh soon those might be coming in if uh lego releases them but there is a nice overview of the sango city gun show um, if anyone is interested in buying a gun at today's gun show, you can go to your either tent on the left and right corner of the San Jose City Mount Ice Stadium. You can pay for a gun there. They will be uh, doing background checks and local uh, security checks just to make sure if you can actually own a weapon in your possession. So uh, that's how you pay for them. That's how you get one if you're a local Lego and who is interested in buying some guns or weapons or bow and arrows, whatever it is here right now. Uh, but that pretty much concludes your San Jose City gun show for today, folks. Thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. And that is it for your San Jose City gun show.